Hey guys, recently I made a short film with some moving and bending trees. And today I wanna show you how those effects were made. If you haven't seen the short film, go watch it, there'll be a link up there and also in the description. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how I made a tree bending scene. I'll also quickly walk you through the compositing and how I created a group of deer running in the background. So let's dive into it. First of all, let's see the original shot. It's a pretty long shot and something I don't like right away are the trees and small branches that need to be rotoed or masked out because I want to place my CG trees and running deer behind those. But I'll show you some workarounds that I used to make this process a little less painful. Before that I want to quickly mention Envato Elements. It's an amazing tool for all creators, offering a huge library with tons of creative assets and presets. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning, water and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. If you are a filmmaker, it will definitely save you a lot of time. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. So here we are in Blender. To create the CG trees in Blender, I used a free add-on called Sapling Tree Gen, which allows you to create all sorts of different trees that you can fully customize. That was very important for me, since I needed to match the real trees in my footage. There is also an option for adding leaves and wind animation. Once I was happy with the model, I added a bark texture to it. You can simply add a new material, select the shader node and press Ctrl Shift T with the Node Wrangler add-on enabled. This will then link your PBR texture automatically. For the animation, I first experimented with using a modifier called Simple Deform, which allows you to bend the object. It kinda worked, but I wanted to have more control, so I ended up creating a rig for the tree. Select the object and add an armature. If you don't see the armature, you can go to the Object tab and click Show in front. Then you can use the regular shortcuts like S to Scale and E to Extrude to add more bones. Now first select the object, then shift click the armature and press Ctrl P. And choose Armature Deform with Automatic Weights. If we go to the pose mode and try moving the bones, you can see that it just stretches some of the vertices. To fix this we need to do some weight painting. So select the object and go to the weight paint mode. If we go to vertex groups, we can see the weight of each bone. So you can select the bone and adjust which parts of the mesh should be affected by that bone. On the top you can change the brush settings, weight, radius and strength. Now we can start painting. However, as you can see, if we paint on this side of the mesh, the other side remains unchanged. What we can do is we can go to the brush and disable the front faces only option. Now we are painting on both sides of the mesh. Another thing we can do to make this process easier is to hold Alt and drag. That will create this gradient. Of course, we can adjust the weight and do the same thing. Now that the weight painting is done, I can switch back to the object mode. Next with the armature selected, we can go to the pose mode and start rotating the bones. If we double tap the R key on the keyboard, we get a trackball rotation and can rotate the bone freely. Now let's create a quick animation. Enable the auto keyframing option, press A to select all bones and hit I to insert the first keyframe. Then you can move a few frames ahead and rotate the bones. And we already have some sort of tree bending movement. Next we can add this tree into our real footage. So I imported my shot and tracked the camera. If you are interested in a more detailed tutorial of this process, I'll link some of my previous tutorials down below. 
Once I had my camera, I tried to match the perspective and scale of the scene. For the lighting, I used an HDRI from the place where I shot this video. And I've also added an additional sun lamp. Next I created a plane that would roughly match the terrain in the original footage and used it as a shadow catcher. Then I adjusted the texture to match it with the rest of the trees and added the traffic light into the scene. Finally I tweaked the tree bending animation until I was happy and rendered the whole scene. In compositing I had to manually mask out the trees that are in front of the CG elements. So I used Mocha, which is already in After Effects, and made some masks around the trees as well as the body. Great thing about this workflow is that Mocha can track these shapes pretty well and you don't have to make changes for each frame. Back in After Effects, you can simply choose to create AE masks. Now as you can see, these trees have a lot of small branches that will be really hard to mask out frame by frame. So I came up with a little workaround that turned out to work fine in this case. I recorded a bunch of these branches on a blue screen. Now I can simply use something like the key light effect to remove the blue screen and place these branches around the scene where needed. To create a running herd of deer, I used this shot. With the help of some masking, keying and stabilizing, I was able to isolate the deer from the shot. Then I added a shadow and a bunch of color adjustments as well as a rim light to match it with the shot. On top of all of that, I placed the blue screen branches. And that pretty much sums up how I put the whole scene together. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.